I think uh, family have to be very much aware of the surrounding. They must know the behavior. Suddenly, there's a change in behavior. We are betutukan mereka, you know, amala apa the way they carry out themselves. Uh, it, it it is very important. Sebab so, yeah, dia will be an indicator yang menunjukkan orang as ibu itu meroyan. We cannot take it lightly. Because some people, they, you know, mungkin they are not used to that kind of situation. Mungkin dia rasa macam, uh, you know, it is something normal. Tapi, actually, that was not the first case. They got other cases, other cases juga yang uh, mungkin ada orang tidak dapat menerima bahawa that was the post, uh, apa nama, uh, yang ibu meruyan punya uh, problem. It is very worrying. Because especially bila you have somebody like that, you cannot leave your not just uh, anak, you know, whoever dalam rumah tu seorang dengan this kind of people because they know more themselves. So um, yeah, we we hope that uh, family pun sedarlah. Cuma uh, from the case yang kita tahu, that memang sudah ada uh, apa nama pergi pergi um, medication, dah ada treatment, ada pasti it happens. And so therefore. This is a um, warning to all of us lah, supaya kita mesti berhati-hati dengan uh, ibu meruyang dengan kes. And it is really happening, you know. Uh, for whatever the reason is, we do not know. Macam-macam uh, sebab yang boleh uh, menyebabkan ibu meruyang. Ya? Yeah? Uh-huh. Ada? Uh-huh. Ada. So that's why, macam yesterday punya kes kan? The kid was left there because to her, based on the story that we heard, uh, according to the story that she she felt that somebody was trying to do something to her. So that's what happened lah. Jadi kita uh, based on police punya report lah. Tapi yelah, uh, ibu Moroyan is not a new case. That's what perkataan Moroyan dah lama ada kita dengar kan, orang kampung Moroyan kata kita. Tapi uh, Moyan orang kampung dia always terjaga last time because somebody will always be there. As well, memang ada uh, immediate family selalu ada bersama kan. So they can come in different forms. It's quite sad lah. Sebenarnya pasangan yang akan menjadi jadi macam nasihat untuk. That's why I said especially pasangan mesti ambil tahu. Walaupun yang bikin mungkin kadang-kadang you know we all we all are busy jadi kita ingat you know it's just normal then you know, why is she behaving that way and I have I have my own work to do but mesti ambil tahu because kita tidak mahu ia hanya memberi kesan kepada ahli keluarga kita yang lain it's very 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 uh, apa nama uh, worrying lah this problem you know, yeah. Actually, ada doktor. The case yang yesterday memangnya ada depression actually. Depression, but mungkin degree of depression may differ from one another. Tapi um, actually quite a number of people lah already uh, take they are taking the, the the medication and then this is the thing that that uh, boleh membantu to mitigate the problem lah untuk mengurangkan uh, rasa tu lah. Tapi Um, still, walaupun yang ambil uh, medication, we still have to be very careful. This person cannot be left alone most of the time. Mungkin orang lelaki tak tahu sangat orang perempuan memang tahu because this is um, affecting women especially lepas pesari, kan? And it can happen for years. Huh? Uh, okay. We hope so lah. Banyak sangat. We hope so. We'll try our very best lah. Uh, is is really uh, worrying and uh, menakutkan when I saw that. I, said, I mean, we know perkara ini memang berlaku, tapi bila sampai anak kecil uh, dah di uh, selit, uh, di selat, so we hope that it doesn't happen.